I'd like to give you some general advice also about um, preparing for the HSC. The Border Studies website is a fantastic resource for you to use. There at the Border Studies website you'll find links to past papers. Uh, there's probably 10 or more years worth of past papers there. So you should go back and you should practice those. You should get feedback from your teachers. You should download them, answer the questions, give them to your teachers and ask for feedback on how you are going. Also there you'll find the marking guidelines for every year and another thing that is there is called the notes from the marking centre and I often use these with my class for them to see how they can get into those higher mark ranges. There's a lot of information there and there's a lot of really good examples so they're well worth reading as well. On the Board of Studies website there's a link to the Assessment Resource Centre. This is a great little um, area where you can practice multiple choice. So what this website contains is more than 10 years worth of past HSC papers, multiple, multiple choice, for food technology and other subjects as well. And you can go onto that site and elect to do a multiple choice, perhaps 10, 20 or 30 at a time and um, answer the questions, it will mark it for you and give you your results. And you will see if you practice those multiple choice questions that over time you will get better. You may even ask your teacher to put up multiple choice questions at the beginning of the lesson. We do this all of term three in preparation for our exams. Um, it's a really good way to revise the entire course. So just to finalise everything, you really need to make sure you go through every single question. If you've finished the paper and you think you're done and there's still time left, Go through every single question. Check you've answered it. Have you addressed the verb? So for example, again, is it a discuss question? Is it describe, is it explain, or one of the other verbs? Make sure that you have addressed that verb and answered the question correctly. Again, you need to make sure you back up all your answers with HSC food technology suitable examples. That's really, really important. So don't leave anything blank on your paper. Make sure that something is written down. Good luck in your exams.